Alright guys, real quick video here to show you how I fixed the bolt situation on the bottom of the winch um, under the bumper. So, what's going on when your dealer does the install of the winch, there's these clips on the bumper that this would be the, the ground under here and this would be pointing up. And so this clips in the bumper and this bolt comes up through it and sticks up quite far. Um, and then actually could snag the winch as the winch is spinning above it. And uh, there's actually been some pictures guys have posted of it snagging their winch and it looks pretty dangerous. So what I did was replace this with an entirely different setup. Um, to remove this clip, I grabbed a, a 10 millimeter wrench and I actually just climbed under the truck and reached up over the inside of the bumper. And since there's a little hook on here, I was able to slide it on like this and just push over to the right with the wrench and this clip pops over to the right. Of course, drop the bolt out before you remove the clip. Um, to get the bolt out, I used a 5 16 uh, screw wrench here and just pulled out that bolt. Once that bolt's out, then like I said, um, I slid this little wrench over the top of the clip where the little mound is right here. Just popped it over like that, slide to the right, clip comes out. Sometimes once the clip moves to the right, it's kind of stuck in its position, so you can reach in there with a little screwdriver and pop it out and be good to go. Um, so once that's gone, I tried to replace it with a flat carriage bolt because I thought that would be a great thing to put up to the top, and then if the winch rope touched that, it would be no big deal. But this square neck didn't work because the hole that it was going into was round and there's nothing to keep it from spinning. So I gave up on that idea and went with uh, this instead. Um, I think this is a 16 millimeter long bolt. It's an M6 bolt in diameter. And so with this, what I did was I grabbed two washers. So I ran this through the top of the hole like that. And then from the bottom side, I put on another bolt and then a locking nut. And so that was the setup I used and then of course to tighten it down I used a 10, 10 millimeter socket underneath to hold the nut and then on the top I just used an allen wrench to hold this bolt in place so this allen wrench you have to use a small one to kind of get it over there's a small hole on top of the bottom of the bumper and then below the the winch lines the winch lines right up here so I had to pull out actually a little bit of the winch line just put it in free spool mode pull it out and then I could get this little Allen wrench in here and then get my thumb up there and hold it while I used the 10 millimeter socket on the bottom to tighten it down. And then that held the bumper together great, I think. And um, is this top here is much smoother now and I don't have to worry. Not only is it much lower than that factory bolt that went up really tall, but it's soft-ish. Um, so if the winch line hits, it's not gonna be nearly as big of a deal. So hopefully that helps you. I'll, I'll provide links down below for these uh, particular pieces of hardware that I grabbed off Amazon. Hope that helps.